Hi, I'm Steve Cousins, and I'm the CEO of Savvy Oak. Savvy Oak is the creator of ALO, which is our first fielded Savvy One robot. So I want to send Alex something that he really, really wants. And uh, I, I heard it was this. So let me send this to him. And off we go. Hello? Hi there. You brought me something? Ooh, it's a whiskey robot. That is excellent. The best kind of robot in my opinion. I am all set, thank you, sir. And you leave now, you oh you did great. Five stars. And you dance. The dancing whiskey robot. I may just marry you. So we have the robot, we want to make a delivery. What's the process by which I, if I was at the front desk, would actually make it go? You just follow the on-screen prompts. Five, oh, one, four. Okay, and uh, pick a room. 335, I happen to have the key in my pocket. Okay, 335, all right. And so I hit load. Yep. And okay. And it opens up automatically. Now, is this locked when it's going down the hallway? So if I saw Butler going down, I can't just open it up Absolutely. and take it's, it's a locked bin all the way okay. until it gets to the door. And does it just know via you know, proximity that it's uh, not at the right door? It actually watches for the door to open. So our, our theory is if you can open the door, then you have access to the room. Then right. you have access to whatever the room ordered. Um, how much stuff can it carry? What's the biggest thing I could put into it to bring up to someone's room? Um, its bin is about two feet high by one cubic feet, so two cubic feet. Of stuff. Okay. Is that like um, four or five water bottles? Is that, you know, a couple yeah, of Yeah, you can put okay. four or five water bottles, you can put a couple of big towels. Um, we've done kind of a study of what things people ask for in hotels, sure. and it delivers, um, you know, we can fit just about all those things. And then it'll just take off now. Yeah. So go over to the, ele the elevators are right there, so. How does it handle the elevators themselves? Uh, it uses telepathy. Interesting. Also it, called Wi-Fi. Also called Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's actually robot telepathy, I believe. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a four-way looking backwards. Yeah. Um, and then so it can take the elevators by itself with no help. That's right. It's um, called the elevators now, and when the elevator opens, it'll go in. If the elevators are all full, does it just wait? It's planning a path, both a global path, like it knows to go up the elevator to the third floor, and then I think turn left out of the elevator. Mm -hmm. So it knows already to do that. But if it encounters something along the way, it'll just go around it if it's possible. Okay. If, if it can't fit, then it's going to stop and wait. And if it waits too long, it'll call for help. How fast does it go down the hallway? What's its top um, speed? It normally goes at about one and a half miles per hour, so kind of a walking speed. Okay. Um, we're trying to keep it, you know, not too fast right now. We want it to be, you know, nice and gentle down the hallway. If I was a, a overconfident nine-year-old, can I push it over? No. Okay. So it's a heavy. It's um yeah it'll it'll take on most nine year olds. And then how many of them are currently in existence right now? Um, this is the the first one. Uh, okay. Alo is the first one that's going to be here, and we're making a few more for the pilot program, um, and we'll be rolling them out kind of gently this year. And then next year we'll be doing an early adopter program with a lot more. And speak of the devil, Alo has returned. <laughs> Our bottler is back. Great. I'm here with Brian from Aloft Hotels, and we are having a very fun day checking out some brand new technology you have here, a robot in your hotel. That's right. And so does this allow you to have less staff, or does this really just make your overall experience better? It makes the experience better. What we wanted to do was augment the guest stay and be able to deliver things to the guest room like uh, a charger, a razor, a toothbrush, sure. uh, quicker than we're doing today, and the robot's helping us do that. Now, we all stay in hotels, we all travel around the world. Um, I've never seen anything like this. So is this a unique technology that no one else has yet? That's right, so okay. we're the first to do this. Um, we've been uh, testing this for about six months and uh, we'll continue our pilot till the end of the year and then roll it out after that. You know, for the average person staying at a loft hotel that doesn't know technology that well, they're just here for the night, do, are they surprised when the robot shows up to their room to bring what they asked for? Does it kind of, do they like it, is it confusing? No, I think they like it. You know, a, a loft was built or designed for the next generation traveler. So the person that's tech savvy, they're early adopters, 
they probably wait in line overnight for the next uh, smartphone, if you will. <laughs> sure. uh, so they expect that out of a loft. So right now in this hotel with the first bottler, how many deliveries does it kind of run per day? It's running, well, today was its first day. You know, the, the bottler uh, has a child wonderment about it. Um, so I, I quite anticipate guests will be calling down for things they may not even need. So right, I that's, that's that, what I was thinking. I, yeah, I expect it may go up over time. So essentially, because the bottler can dance, people will want more toothbrushes. I think that's right. Okay. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know that I'd have a brand new robot best friend that brings me whiskey, but now that I do, I want one at home.